Hi, I'm Laura Lively. Welcome to you and all of your parts. So today I am finishing up, or this week I am finishing up the last of a series, a four-part series I've done, and it's about uh, what I call my triple A's uh, plus an extra. <laughs> um, this one, so my triple A's are acknowledge, accept, and appreciate. The fourth one is you have to have awareness to be able to do that. And so today we're going to talk about appreciation and why appreciation is important to your parts work and building a relationship with your parts. So at our core, appreciation is kind of the act of recognizing and externally validating the contributions of someone else, right? Like, so I would ask you, like I asked you about acknowledgement a couple of weeks ago, when was the last time you felt appreciated by someone? I'll wait. I want you to really think about that. Like, when was the last time you felt appreciated? What did that feel like to you? What was it like? Was there, did you feel this warm fuzziness? Did you feel, were you happy to be appreciated? And now, just like I did with acknowledgement, what did it feel like when you did something and you did not get the appreciation you wanted? That doesn't feel so great, does it? So... I'm just going to say that the third the third A, the appreciation, is something that we can also, instead of feeling it and showing it externally to people for what they do for us, which hopefully you do, we also can turn that on ourselves. We can look inward at our parts and appreciate them for all of the hard work that they're doing. Now... This can be tricky if you have parts that are acting in ways or causing you to act in ways, the, a behavior that you don't actually appreciate. So how do you get around that, Lara? You might be asking, and I'll give you my favorite example. Critics, internal critics or internal judgers who are judging me for everything I do. They're judging me right now because they don't like my hair. Um, and how do I get around that? Like, I don't like that behavior. I don't like being told, oh, good God, what were you thinking? Your hair looks like crap. A simple thank you is all you have to do. Even with these parts that it's hard to appreciate what they're doing. And in fact, I actually cheated. I'm not going to lie about this. I'm going to be totally transparent because I give this I give this tip to my new clients too. Critics are not easy. I actually now, several years into my journey with parts work, I appreciate all critics because I know how desperately hard they're trying to help. Generally underneath our critics is a bunch of fear and they're scared. And so, but I didn't necessarily know that when I started. And so I did one of those fake it till you make it things. And probably people in IFS would say, you shouldn't do that. But I'm going to tell you because it worked for me. I created a list of things to say when my critics like went off on me, basically. What the heck were you thinking? How could you have been so stupid? I came up with a list. It was like four or five phrases that I memorized. So that even if I had to say it internally or out loud to the part through gritted teeth, which, you know, candidly did not mean I actually meant it, but it worked. And over time, I was able to actually be genuine when I talk and show appreciation of my parts to my inner critic. So I'll just give you two or three and see if any of them like resonate with you. So the first one is just thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing that you think my hair looks like crap. Thank you for sharing that you wonder how I could have been so stupid. Thank you for sharing. So that's one. Another one is, you might be right. You might be right that my hair looks like crap. You might be right that I did something stupid. You might be right. Now, I'm going to be honest. Let me be honest with you. That came straight from an AA meeting. Um because it kind of shuts a conversation down. Of course, now they were recommending you do it in real life, like externally in real life with somebody else. I found it because it's not, ex and think about it. If you stop and think about that, you might be right. You're not actually saying the person is right. And it kind of shuts the conversation down because you're not arguing with the person. You're actually admitting they might be right. And so... I found that to be very helpful externally in my life with people outside of my parts, but I've also found it to be very helpful with my parts as well, because I'm not telling them that you're wrong. I'm not, I am actually not getting into a fight with my part, 
Because if I turn around and like, shut up, because I have one of those parts too, that doesn't like the inner critic, now I've just got two parts fighting. And I wanted to be able to talk with the parts with some calm compassion. And like I said, I faked it so I made it. So one is thank you for sharing. One is you might be right. Another one is, I can tell you really believe that. So again, I'm not saying it's the truth, but I am acknowledging that the part really believes that. So those are three little phrases I used with my critics. You might give it a shot and see if it works. And sometimes I use it with other parts as well, but now I genuinely mean it. Now I, I can say it without gritting my teeth. And so that appreciation can be very helpful because most of our parts are starved for appreciation, just like many people out in the real world with other, you know, three-dimensional humans are. And so I hope that as you go forward, you might be able to notice where you do appreciate your parts. I appreciate the parts that got me here today. I appreciate the parts that helped me put together this small series that we just did of awareness, acknowledge, accept, and appreciate. I appreciate the parts that got me dressed and got my hair done, even if not everybody in my system appreciates how my hair looks, right? I have the parts, I can appreciate the parts that, you know, fed me breakfast this morning. Those are all parts. Those are all managers working really hard for you to be able to show up in the world. And I can appreciate all of the hard work they do. And I can also tell you that when I appreciate them, I feel a shift in my system. So again, this is kind of the last step of acknowledging, accepting, and appreciating those parts. And when I can do those three things, when I have the awareness, the fourth one, the system feels seen and heard. They feel acknowledged. They are accepted for who they are. And I appreciate that they're all doing their dead level best to help me as they have been doing for 50 plus years. So I hope that you can consider where can you start to thank your parts, whether you have to do it through gritted teeth or you can do it genuinely for all of the hard work they do for you, all of the hard work they do for your system. So that's it. You have to have some awareness. Then we want you to acknowledge, accept and appreciate your parts. And it's a practice. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and have some compassion with yourself when it might take longer than your, your impatient part wants. So sending you all a ton of love today. I hope this little series has been helpful. I'd love you to drop me a line at laura at lauralively.com. Put a comment in the notes. Hit subscribe so that you never miss any content. And until the next time, love to you and all of your parts.